welcome to my channel, where I will take you to some places, let you see my new toys and stuff, and reviews. Stand the map! Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So for today's video is, what's in my new iPhone X? So this is my new iPhone. It replaced my iPhone 7 Plus, which was now given to one of my family members. So I hope you guys are okay, and I hope um, you enjoyed your Holy Week last um, last end of March to April, the first week of April. So I really enjoyed um, the Holy Week. We had devotions. So uh, let's start with the video. All right. So as you see right now, um, I have the first uh, page of my phone, which is um, apps, which are apps essential for my online classes. So let's go with Google Classroom first. So Google Classroom is like the main, the most, uh, like the main uh, platform we use in online classes because you can already send homework, you can send your learning what we call learning guides or materials so that you can review for the next synchronous session all right so, so here are my classrooms guys so PE and health art class music EPP English SOS a so we have this thing called SOS where we um, we have groups our class is separated to SOS A and SOS B. So we have sessions just for answering activities and Google Slides and Google Docs. So English, Grade 5 English, Filipino Squad A, Science Squad A, Math SOS A, English SOS A, Math SOS A. So um, this one, uh, this one, there, there's this other English SOSA. Um, this was our old. This was our old English SOSA classroom. So math SOSA, AP SOSA, math a uh, math class. Um, AP Filipino science and homeroom. So we have some other subjects. I have Engli another English SOSA. In um, English classroom. So in these classrooms, my uh, my teacher was our teacher in English for first and second qu first quarter, I think. Yeah, first quarter, second, third, and fourth quarter. Um, we had the new teacher, and his name is Sir Jake. All right. So let's move on. Google Drive. So Google Drive is actually where I keep my files, um, where my assignment files are kept, uh, my videos, if I have any videos for homework. So in, in, in my drive here, there are the Google Docs, here are Google Slides, uh, some pictures that I sent to our teacher because it's homework. Okay. Let's just close that first. And let's move on to Google Slides. So Google Slides is a PowerPoint. Is a, 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 a is Google's kind of PowerPoint. And um, these are this is how um, our teachers make learning materials or learning guides. So here we can read this um, before the class starts so this is like our book already for um, online classes okay next is google docs so as you know it's like microsoft word so you can but you can edit simultaneously here uh, when you give access to many people wow. gmail so gmail is very important in online classes because this is where um, you quickly see your teacher's announcements. Uh, you can send you can send emails to them, but um, yeah. So you can compose emails. You can see um, if you have any <coughs> if you have any classroom invitations. All right. 
So, but a way I communicate with my teachers is Google Chat. So here, all right. So um, it's kind of easier. You don't need to like type the email because it will be immediately sent to them. Next is Google Meet. So Google Meet is uh, for our synchronous classes, like when we meet, we join a Google Meet um, link. We don't use Zoom because um, we're using full Google in online classes. And Jamboard, it's like an online whiteboard. Let's see. I'll show you guys. So this is mine. So you can insert pictures too. Um, it's kind of like sticking pictures in the whiteboard, but online. So you can write also. So it's um, functional, but we don't really use it anymore. So let me just tell you guys that on Monday, we're already starting our, um, our minor exams. So Zoom is next, so I only use this for my piano classes every Sunday. So other than that, I have two widgets. So if you don't know who this is, guys, um, it's his name is Joe Gardner. So Joe Gardner is from um, the Disney Pixar movie Soul, and he's a cool character, so I chose him. He's my favorite Disney character right now. Next is uh, photography, video, and animation. So Stop Motion Studio. So Stop Motion Studio is how I, how you make stop motions. So yeah, moving like that. So it's a very long process to make these an, uh, stop motion animation, but um, I don't, I also always add sound effects in my animations. So I just uh, wanted to um, just want the viewers to understand it more. So iMovie, this is how I edit my videos. Um, I don't edit on my phone anymore. <coughs> I use my laptop because there are so much more features in iMovie in my laptop. Okay, next it's piss, piss, piss. <laughs> so next it's Pix Art. I have a hard time saying that. So PixArt is an app I use to edit my photos if I want to enhance or like put stickers, uh, put borders or a canvas. So it, it's uh, really designing your picture. You can make it a collage. Okay. So Canva is another very important platform I use. I use it for personal reasons and school reasons. So school reasons is presentations. So we had an EPP lesson about business. So I use Canva to make the presentation. So it's kind of like more than Google Slides and PowerPoint. You can like um, get so much more elements. You can have more features. You can insert YouTube, vi YouTube videos quickly. You can insert links. It's just, there's so many features guys, so I like using it. So I'm using my mom's account. Okay. So next is YouTube Studio. Okay. So if you guys have a channel and you want to keep track of your analytics and you want to add a thumbnail in your phone, on your phone, then use YouTube Studio. So here in YouTube Studio, you could um, check your analytics like this video it has eight views and average view duration is six minutes um, ten sec and ten seconds so comments too you can see it all right so I can see my videos my playlists the all my comments and channel analytics so here guys so you'll just get a lot of things to know about your channel that you don't really know about yet. So photos, of course, from the word, you keep your photos here. So I have a lot of photos. My iCloud storage is almost full, so um, these 
um, are for my piano lessons. So I won't delete them yet. Next is the camera. So as you know, you can take a picture, make a video, slow mo, time lapse, portrait, and more. All right. So next is Filmora Go. So I actually only use this for um, for school projects. Here, this is my this is an EPP project. So it was a video. You can also edit videos here. Um, it's kind of like iMovie, but I just use Filmora Go really for school assignments if we have videos to edit. Next is Relax Mel Melodies. So if you guys really just uh, want to listen to music, relax, and meditate, this is the perfect app for you. Music, you can compose your own calm music um, thing is there's a um, there's a pro so if you want to get all features you have to do pro but I'm already okay with not pro so I use this to soothe my brain to relax my thoughts I also use this um, for my mom when she's um, not feeling well or something this is very helpful so as you, as you see, I have two more widgets of uh, Joe Gardner in the movie and two more pictures of Joe Gardner in the movie. So let's go to MeFit. So MeFit is um, helpful for me um, checking my weight, how many steps I had. So it, it's like the health app in Apple. So I can see what my weight is i just forgot how to use this but yeah it's also very helpful it can monitor your sleep also okay duolingo is an app i use to learn french so this is a very cool app guys so it's like um language lessons and it's completely free guys so here guys i um, just started I think a year ago in studying French so here I am you can read stories that are um, from your from the language that you're learning also you can listen to podcasts so um, in the podcasts you can uh, listen to them explain how to pronounce this word how how it, how useful these words are when you go to the streets of France or streets of china whatever so you can all you they will also require you to answer all right so next is safari so as you know it's like google chrome searching i have health so i won't explain the apps guys that are like very common in your phone so weather i have notes calendar phone facetime voice memos mail clock i still keep these apps even though so i don't use some all right so i have two more uh pictures of joe gardner so here i have youtube all right so i have netflix so this is like entertainment this page of my phone is entertainment iTunes store music all right I also have draw classic in uno so for if you guys don't know draw classic uh, you can play it with your friends so you have to draw something um, and the other player has to guess it so the like the game will give you what to draw and you'll draw it and then you'll draw it and then you'll draw it and then you will draw it <laughs> and they will give you and they will try to answer it oh no i'm sure you guys know this so it's a family card game so yeah okay so this is the last page of my phone um i uh, have two more widgets of joe gardner so this i this new app um is translate from apple right so i have books google earth so google so Google Earth is like helpful, um, you know, um, know where you know the 
the earth more, you know, the geography of the world more. Yeah. Okay. I have GarageBand and Calculator. And here I have Messages, App Store, and the settings. Alright, so that's it, guys. But before we end, this is my phone case, guys. So there, I will make a new video tomorrow uh, because I think my new phone cases arrived. So it's a secret, guys. I will. I hope you will be surprised with what it is tomorrow. So I hope you enjoyed this video, guys. Um, thank you so much for still supporting my channel and everything. Um, so. Please still wear face mask and face shield. Observe physical distancing every time. And just stay safe, guys, always. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Please like and subscribe, guys. So if, if you're not subscribed yet, please subscribe already. So that's it, guys. Thank you so much for watching. And I hope you have a good one. Bye. Stand the mat.